Hey everybody, it's Sherry at Liberty Mission Farms. I'm out here sitting in the barn with our pregnant goats. We're looking for baby goats pretty soon, but that's not what I'm here for today. Today we are finally experiencing some great weather, so it's perfect to get these Freedom Ranger meat chickens out on the pastures and out of their brooder. They are outgrowing their space, and we would have liked to have had them out probably a few days ago, but the weather just wouldn't cooperate. We like to move them out when it's nice and sunny, and we can see in the forecast that it's gonna be pretty mild weather because we want their transition to be smooth so they won't be stressed. A stressed bird is an unhealthy bird, so we want them to not be stressed while they assimilate getting out there on the pastures for the first time. So today I'm gonna first unpack a bunch of things that have been put up for the winter and get them all set up out on the pasture. The guys have already moved the, the shelter out there, so that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna take you along. Well, the lighting is funny, so you probably can't see very well, but they're all gathering around a little sunlight that peeks into their brooder each morning, and they're getting a little crowded in here. So I know they're gonna be really happy to get out there on the pasture. They have almost all their feathers, so they can really tolerate a lot of weather now. But we still wanna make their transition smooth. So I'm sure they're as ready to get out there as we are ready for them to get out there. This is a class and water drinker, and this is our favorite drinker for meat chickens. Um, in just about any pen that you use, this is a great, pretty reliable source. So I've got some big buckets that we hook up to this to drip feed the water. I'll probably hook up two of these today. So I'm going to get these all cleaned up and get them out there onto the field. And I'll put a link to this brand of drinker and where you can get one like it if you're going to do meat chickens or even laying hens as well. I'll find a link at the bottom of this video. down and that's what it's going to help the gravity feed. Get a little bit more This is going to help the gravity feed the water down into the drinker and keep this tray full for the chickens at all times. With the hundred chickens we'll probably put two of these drinkers in. It's nice to have two if we can just because if one has a failure of some sort then we've got a backup. Definitely don't want them to run out of water. got some weight to it and then the next thing we do is this is attached to a five gallon bucket and this is all cleaned out and it's flowing good tested it out so I'm going to attach this so now when we fill the bucket with water and here inside the meat chicken pin and I've used this to string this up. These Placen drinkers come with this great little tool that allows you to tie it just one time and then you can lift and lower it so as the chickens get a little bigger and taller we can raise it up a little bit more or if we get into really high grass we can raise it up or lower it. Now that I've got it strung up I'll just hook this up Okay. 
I'll take this excess string and hang it up here so that the birds don't get into it. And we're set to go. They're all set and I'll hook up one more drinker like this then I'll fill up the buckets with water and uh, this will keep it keep them in water at all times. Okay, so now that I have it all hooked up, I'm going to go hook up one more drinker just like this next to it and fill both of the big five gallon buckets with water, set them up on either a chair or up on the roof of the, of the pen, and then we'll be ready to put the chicks in. enjoying their new environment, getting accustomed to it being on the grass. So we'll be moving this pin every day. Okay, they're all inside. There are 99. We thought we had 100. There's 99. They are already adapting really well to their shelter. So we'll keep them inside this shelter for a couple of days, moving the shelter every day to a fresh piece of grass. But as they get a little bit bigger and more accustomed to the fact that this is their shelter, this is their safety, we will open up the door, this door, so that they can come out and they'll have an entire half acre to run around on. Okay, so we've had, we've had now the Freedom Ranger chickens moved out here to the pasture for a day and a half, and they're already really doing well on the pasture. It's a little hot today, and meat chickens tend to like it a little cooler, so they're laying in the shade. But in the morning, they come right out to the sun. They love to lie in the sun in the morning. And because they are pretty quick learners, much quicker learners than the Cornish Cross, um, we've opened up the door. They're not using it yet because it's a warm out, but when that sun starts to go down, they'll all come out and they've got a half acre they can run around on and they're pretty smart. They'll watch out for predators above their heads. Um, 
again, much smarter than the Cornish cross we found and they learn much quicker. So they'll know to go back into this shelter tonight when it starts to get dark, we won't have to run around and chase them in. Generally, they'll all go back in on their own into their shelter. But this hot time of the day, they're all taking their naps and just lying in the shade and enjoying themselves. Oh, so I'm getting dust baths over there. But the door's open and they've, they've got a fenced pasture, so they're still very small. But again, they'll be just fine if they get under this shelter, if there's any overhead predators. We don't have a lot of trees on our pasture, so probably if we lived in a wooded area, we'd be a little more cautious about letting them come out of their shelter because they could easily be picked up by a predator. But at night, they're locked in here, so they're pretty safe that way. And that's it. We'll move this pin every day, but they'll also be able to get out every day and this is where they'll be until harvest day. They have a great life. We highly recommend Freedom Ranger chickens. They just do wonderful on pasture. A lot of people will say, oh, you don't want them running around on pasture. They'll use too much energy. They'll eat too much food. But we have found really that's not a problem if you have a bird that forages well. And Freedom Rangers really do. They'll eat a lot of bugs and grass and seeds that they find on the ground, as well as their grain that we give them as a supplement. And they just do great running around and getting exercise. We find they're healthier. It's a lot less work for us. We don't have to move the pen as often. It keeps them on clean ground. Their feet are cleaner. Everything's cleaner come harvest day. So we just really love the Freedom Ranger chickens. Well, we'll show them to you again when it gets close to harvest day. In the meanwhile, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.